Ladies and gentlemen, Dubai is one of the ideal vacation destinations for the super rich. The overwhelming luxury on the streets and services here make places like New York or Miami less attractive in comparison. Rarely does any place in the same city have as many billionaires as Dubai. If you have the opportunity to travel to Dubai and see pictures of pets that are lions or supercars with beautiful, glittering, gold-plated license plates, don't be too surprised, because these are normal hobbies of the tycoons here. And next, let's join Luxury Style Channel in discovering the crazy and unique ways of spending money of Dubai's super rich in this video. Dubai is a city and one of seven emirates within the United Arab Emirates, UAE. In recent decades, Dubai has transformed from a regional trading post and oil producer into a global tourism and investment hub. The strategy behind the Emirates' goal is to pursue the ultra-luxurious, the modern, the big and the bold. Dubai says it wants to turn the sandy desert into the smartest and most sustainable city. Dubai developed rapidly after 1971. Before that, this country did not have any high-rise buildings. Today, Dubai is a modern metropolis with more than 3 million residents from around the world. The horizon is no longer a wild desert, but instead it is filled with skyscrapers and giant man-made structures that can be seen from space. The Emirate of Dubai attracts tourists to places of interest like the world's tallest building, Burj Khalifa, an endless chain of luxury stores and shopping malls like the Mall of the Emirates, with its indoor skiing slope. Here are some ways how the rich in Dubai spend their money that amaze the world. Take a helicopter to avoid the traffic congestion. Cities like New York or Los Angeles are famous for their yellow taxis. If you need transportation, just call a taxi. Nowadays, Uber is also not a bad choice when customers can schedule a pickup in advance. However, in the land of the super rich, Saudi billionaires can completely avoid traffic jams by renting helicopters to move around the city. You can rent a helicopter if you are a tourist who wants to see the scenery. If you have as much money as the billionaires living in the city of gold, you can fly your own helicopter and comfortably fly in the United Arab Emirates. ATM specialized for withdrawing gold. It's no surprise that rich people in Dubai absolutely love the shiny metal called gold. From gold-plated cars to solid gold toilets, Gold seems to have become a testament to whether a person is in a billionaire's paradise or not. So, when people get tired of counting cash, they can go to a gold ATM and withdraw a few coins or bars of gold. According to The Travel, not only does it contain gold, but these ATMs themselves are also made of sparkling gold. Keep Pets from the Wild Former boxer Mike Tyson chose a tiger as his pet. However, this special hobby is nothing compared to the passion of the super-rich in Dubai, raising lions, tigers, bears, or cheetahs. However, in 2017, the government here banned keeping wild animals as pets. Owners of big cats or other exotic animals can be fined up to $50,000 and face up to six months in jail. Unique and expensive car collection. Lamborghinis, Rolls Royce, or Ferraris are no longer strange on the streets of Dubai. However, what is worth mentioning is that among them, there are extremely luxurious sports cars. The trend of gold-plated cars originated from Middle Eastern countries and prominent among them is Crown Prince Turki bin Abdullah, the seventh son of the late King of Saudi Arabia. Abdullah bin Abdulaziz. In addition to the Lamborghini Aventador, Turkey bin Abdullah's garage has other gold-plated cars such as a Bentley, Ferrari, and Brabus G700. Crown Prince Turkey bin Abdullah is also the person who started the trend of bringing supercars to Europe for summer vacation among rich people in the Middle East. Also, 
A prominent figure in Dubai's supercar industry is Prince Mohammed of the United Arab Emirates. Prince Mohammed is currently Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE. This 65-year-old politician is also a wealthy businessman and the best economist in the world. He was the one who brought wealth and luxury to Dubai. The Prince of the UAE owns a collection of 114 luxury cars, among the most expensive in the world, such as Bugatti, Ferrari, Porsche, Mercedes-Benz, and so on. Notable are two models, Veyron Supersport World Record Edition and Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse World Record Edition, along with another Veyron and a blue Bugatti EB110. Ferrari supercars appearing in this collection include the legendary F40, F50, Enzo, 599XX, and La Ferrari. Besides, there are other supercars such as the Porsche Carrera GT, Super Rare Porsche GT1, Mercedes Benz SLR 722 Edition, SLR 722S, SLR Sterling Moss, SL65 Black Series, 300 SL Gullwing, and CLK GTR Roadster. Prince Mohammed had to build a building with two basement floors and six above ground floors at an estimated cost of about 29.84 million US dollars to house his collection of 114 luxury cars. Recently, a tycoon in Dubai spent 15 million US dollars buying a rare car license plate consisting of only the letter P and the number 7. This is considered the most expensive license plate in the world at the present time. In addition to the tycoons, young men and women born in wealthy families in this city also have the habit of spending money like water. On their Instagram accounts, Dubai's rich kids introduced we represent the best in Dubai. Supercars, fashion, branded goods, and luxury style. Dubai in dreams. Like rich kids around the world, rich girls and boys in Dubai also continuously post pictures of their luxurious lives, dreamed of by thousands of people on this account, such as owning a huge diamond collection, luxurious meals at restaurants with great views, even buying too many items, they have to hire a person to help carry them. Drinking coffee and watching the sunrise on cloud nine. Having too much gold and diamonds, they attach them to their teeth. Partying at luxurious and classy places. Their shoe cabinets are as big as a shoe store. Enjoying all the most luxurious travel services, such as viewing aquariums with unique fish. However, in this country, there is also characters that attracts everyone's attention. Beggars. According to Dubai police, on average a beggar here can earn 9,000 dirhams, 54 million VND, per day, and each hour they can be given up to 1,500 dirhams, or 9 million VND. Meanwhile, the monthly income of ordinary employees here only ranges from 20,000 to 30,000 dirhams, this makes everyone extremely surprised because they did not think that beggars in Dubai have such a high income. Some people even joked, taking me to Dubai to travel, you were in charge of holding a begging bowl and I knelt down and cried for people to pity us. Soon we were able to buy a villa. Previously in China, there was an online article that was very popular with the title, If one day I have nowhere to stay, please take me to Dubai to be a beggar. Dubai is famous for being a rich and luxurious country, but it will certainly surprise you even more with the world's most lavish and splendid constructions, like Burj Khalifa, formerly known as Burj Dubai, an 800-meter-high skyscraper located in the new center of Dubai. It is currently the tallest structure in the world. It is known that the building was put into use on January 4, 2010. Dubai launched 500,000 fireworks to welcome the new year at this tallest building in 2014 and set the world record. Burj Al Arab is the most luxurious hotel in Dubai with a height of 320 meters, labeled seven stars with many records such as a total construction cost of 1.6 billion US dollars and a sky-high nightly room price in the range of 2000 to 28000 US dollars.
This famous seven-star Burj Al Arab Hotel is also home to the highest tennis court in the world. The yard is located on the top floor of the hotel, 211 meters above the ground, with a surface area of 415 square meters. Previously, it was a grass-covered landing pad for helicopters. The Palm Island Archipelago is the largest artificial island in the world. The islands are created by dredging sand in shallow coastal areas, 321 million cubic meters of sand and 31 million tons of soil and rock were used to build the islands with an area of about 69 square kilometers. The archipelago has an investment of 12.3 billion US dollars including many small artificial islands named after countries around the world. Built on an artificial palm tree-shaped island in the above artificial archipelago, the luxurious hotel Atlantis is said to be an ideal destination for the rich, with room prices up to tens of thousands of dollars per night. Infinity Tower, with a height of 305 meters, is the tallest twisted building in the world. This building costs nearly $300 million to build, with 495 super luxurious apartments, with 6,600 light bulbs and 25 color projectors. Dubai has the largest fountain in the world. The world's largest hanging aquarium is located at Dubai Mall, with 33,000 marine animals. The 48-meter-long aquarium also has other services such as glass-bottom boating and diving. The world's largest flower garden is also located in Dubai, with an area of more than 72,000 square meters. Dubai Miracle Garden is home to more than 45 million blooming flowers. Dubai is investing in building a satellite city, the largest commercial area in the world called Mall of the World, with an area of about 4.5 million square meters, 7 kilometers long covered with domes and using air conditioning 24-7. The largest marina in the world is Dubai Marina, with a construction cost of up to 10 billion US dollars. Ski Dubai is the world's largest winter amusement park built right on desert land in the United Arab Emirates. This $275 million project is 85 meters high and 80 meters wide, Inside, it always maintains a temperature of negative 1 to negative 2 degrees Celsius, despite the average outside temperature of 25 degrees Celsius in winter and over 40 degrees Celsius in summer. A hidden corner behind the luxury and glamour of Dubai. Dubai is emerging as a promising land, with a classy life for the upper class, breaking a series of world records. However, there still exists a hidden corner behind which is the hard and dark life of poor workers from South Asian countries who immigrate, wishing for a hope of soon changing their lives. Separating from the luxurious life of the richest city in the United Arab Emirates is Sonapur, an area located on the outskirts of Dubai, far from busy shopping centers or skyscrapers. Sonapur ironically means golden city in Hindi. This is the place where more than 150,000 workers gather, mainly from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and China. More than 30 years ago, most of Dubai was still desert, yet it quickly developed at a rapid pace to become a commercial center and the main tourist destination in the region. Workers flock to this land to settle down with the hope of changing their lives. Living in Dubai, people implicitly understand that there exist three main classes. Original Dubai residents, foreigners who immigrate to work, and working people. As for poor workers, some have their passports held at the airport and have to work hard in the hot desert heat in return for a few measly wages. They were brought to Sanapur for easy management. A 27-year-old worker, Jahangir, from Bangladesh shared that every month he received about 800 UAE in salary and he sent home about 500 UAE and the rest was used for rent and food. The living quarters for workers is a cramped, dirty kitchen and dozens of people sitting around it. High-income foreigners working in Dubai never see these corners of the city, which are hidden by the media. Besides, 
Although Dubai is really rich and can also be said to be the most modern in the world, it is uncivilized because in this society of the 21st century, there still exists heavy discrimination between men and women, between natives and foreigners. The discrimination here is quite large. In Dubai, women are still considered second-class citizens, and when they step out on the street, most of them have to cover their faces with scarves. Some people even cover their eyes or even cover their faces with black scarves. The whole body from head to toe looks like a pile of moving black cloth, which is mysterious, strange, and scary. Meanwhile, men are allowed to have many wives, many beauties of their own. Adultery among women is taboo here. So the fate of adulterous women is considered to be over if it is exposed. Of course, every country has its own bright and dark areas. But it cannot be denied that Dubai is a country with many of the world's richest and most wealthy people. What do you think about the spending and hobbies of Dubai's tycoons? Please leave your comments below this video. See you again in Luxury Style's latest video.